Hi everybody, Pierre from Reception Academy. Today we are going to discuss exercise number 13 from our home study guide. Please note this tutorial video has been designed for students taking the Opera PMS home study course. If you don't have already access to the software, you could find more information about the course on our website. Um, I have added the course link to the video description below and you could get Opera PMS installed and tag along. You just have to click on book now. For this exercise, I have created a reservation under the name of John Doe. It is a booking arriving today for two nights for two adults with a rate inclusive of breakfast. For the first task, your guests request a mini fridge in the room. Go to item inventory. Click on new. Select mini fridge from your list. Do not need to change the date because it is for the full stay. Press OK. Click OK to close your item inventory window. And then you want to click Save on your reservation. The system prompts you with a question. Say yes to create the trace. And press OK to confirm your trace. And save. Add the guest address details. To do so, go to your profile ellipsis and type in the address details. Ensure that each word go to capital letter or start with a capital letter. Once you are happy with your entry, just click on OK to close your profile and save. Your guest would like to check in at 11 a.m. To do so, go to your special request, just like so, and select early arrival requested. Press OK. The system prompts you with a question. Would you like to attach it to the profile? It is a one-off. Say no. And here in arrival time, you have to specify the time. So you need to put 11 o'clock. And save. Now, in addition to that, because your guest is arriving today at 11 o'clock, and as you can see on my page, it's already 10.45, uh, I would assign a room right away, and I would also call the housekeeping to inform them about delivering the mini fridge. So, I will select a room. Let's select 202, for example. And I will add also the letter do not move, and the reason why. Right, that's to inform the rest of my colleagues that this room has been assigned for 11 o'clock arrival and that also I have requested the housekeeping to go and deliver the mini fridge. Once everything is done, I just click save. As so your guest is arriving today at 11 o'clock and it's already 10.49, I will assign a room in advance and I will call housekeeping to go quickly to deliver the mini fridge and whatever items will need to be delivered to that room. So uh, let's assign a room quickly. Your guest wanted the ninth floor, it is later on in the exercise. Let's select 707. I press OK. And here, after POA, I put the letter do not move to ensure that the room number doesn't get changed and inform your colleagues. And so far, mini fridge. And I save. Guest requested an extra blanket. You want to inform our skipping. To do so, you need to create a trace. Click on options. Select traces. And then you want to click on new. If you know the code, you can just type it in, which is HSK for housekeeping. Alternatively, you could also click on the drop down menu and find it. Type in your message. Guest requested an extra blanket. To validate it, click on OK. Close your traces window. Close your options window. And you could add here, after your DNM, extra blanket as well. Because your guest is arriving today, I would give a quick call. Uh, it's fairly urgent because your guest is about to check in. So call for housekeeping, of course, and save. Guest will be in the bar from 12 o'clock till 3 in the afternoon. Do not disturb him. So what you wanted to do, because you know the location and the time, is to create a locator. Click on Options. Select Locator. And here you want to type in the time. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And here you want it to go to your ellipsis and select the most common location. I guess it's in the bar. That's OK. And then you want it to type in the remaining. So guess is in the bar, do not disturb you. Once you're happy with the details, press OK. 
then close your locator's window and close your options window and save. Attach company name to the booking. So you want it to go to the company field and type in the company name. In my case, I will use the reception academy. Then press start. The systems open a profile search screen. If you have a matching result, you need to select it and confirm the details. So you can either double click on the profile or you can click on communication. If you are not happy with the result, you could click on search and then new. Notice that new is uh, not yet open. It will only appear once you click on search. So now I will select the one of our company, which is this one, I believe so. Let me just confirm the details. Yeah, that's the one. And I double click on it. As you can see, you can see all the details of the company. You need to ensure that the address is written in a similar way with each word starting with a capital letter and that you've got the main contact details of the company, such as the telephone number and the email address in case we need to contact them. Once you are done, you press on OK. And here you can see that your company is attached. In case your market was set on leisure, I would advise you to put it on corporate to keep it consistent. Your guest is staying for business. Once you are happy with those changes, click on Save. Your guest always wants a room on the high floor near the lift. So what you want it to do is you want it to go to your features, click on the drop down menu, and you want it to select the high floor, which is HF, and also NL for near lift. Press OK. The system prompts you with a question about attaching the profile because it is for every stay, click on Yes. Now we already assigned a room. Um, you may need to change it and then you will have to call housekeeping. Ideally, you should have finished your exercise and assigned the room after. Um, I click on my drop down menu for room allocation and here I can see that there are no rooms on the high floor near the lift. Technically, in my hotel, there are not many rooms near the lift. I can show you there is only one in the double category, which is uh, 305. So we will we'll leave 707. And when the guest will arrive, we will have to explain him that there is no room near the lift on the seventh floor or the high floor. He needs to compromise either high floor or near the lift. Once you're happy with our changes, you click save. For the next two tasks, I will check in my desk quickly and I will also change the number of nights to zero in order to charge automatically the room rate of the building. I will accelerate the process and I will see you on capturing building. As you can see, the number of nights has been uh, changed to zero. So there is, uh, the guest is due out and is leaving today. Um, and the room right has been posted automatically. Now, I will do all the billing first, posting the items to the bill, and then after we'll move on to the routing. And finally, we will do the adjustments. So let's start with the postings. I go to post. And the first posting was a dinner, food, and dinner beverage. So here you could choose a department. This time, let's take bar. Uh, and let's take bar dinner. And it was 53 pounds. And then you want to do the same because the guest is having the dinner in the same place, so in the bar this time. And select dinner beverage. And this time it was for 16 pounds. Your guest had a massage in the spa and head massage. Lucky him. 90 pounds. And in reference, you wanted to specify the end massage. The end massage. And the following one was breakfast food. So most likely that was for a visitor as the breakfast is already included in the raid. So here restaurant, breakfast food. And it was for 25 pounds. extra guest breakfast. Then you want it to post a newspaper. So you type news. Yes, an article. And that was the Financial Times, which is just here. Press enter to go to the next line. Then your guest add a bottle of uh, white wine and red wine from the mini bar. So mini. 
my time. And one. Okay, in addition to that, your guest bought a painting from the bedroom. So because it belongs to the hotel, that was a miscellaneous item. So, miscellaneous. You were free to decide the price of the painting. In our case, let's put 300 pounds. That's 3,000. And in reference, you have to add what type of miscellaneous it was. So what I wrote is guest purchase painting from and here you could be creative, you could change the name of the artist, Picasso, Delhi, whoever you wanted to. I keep artist name, but it's up to you. And I press enter. And finally, your guest requested a taxi and wanted it charged back to his bill. So taxi is paid out. And that was 90 pounds. And that was a taxi to give where I bought. Once you're happy, press enter close and then once we were happy with all what you typed in you just have to close your posting window and all the billing items will have been added to the guest bill your guest would like a bill under the company name for the dinner food and beverage and the bed and breakfast rate in addition to that he would want to pay with a card which is a master card um, Actually, that's the master card I use, but we can change the number uh, just to show the difference. Okay, so now let me show you. So uh, click on options, select routing. And here what you want to do is because you want to change the name on the window, we select window. Then where it's a name, click on the drop down menu. Because you have attached the company to the booking, it should appear here, select it. And here what you want to do is you want to leave the window number to this one then press OK. Now, to change your method of uh, payment, if you go to this button, Payment, it is the same as the credit card ellipsis on the reservation, which is next to the credit card logo. The same shortcut. And here you can see that by default, we've got the method of payment of the window 1, which is 2170 here. If you do not select window 2 and change the method of payment, the same method of payment will apply to all the other windows. So here, I could either select the same card and type it in, or I could take another card. I will select another card to show you the difference. So I put an American Express. So now, here, um, what will the company pay for? For the room rate and the extras. So in the credit card authorization rule, I will put rule number two, which is your night times daily rate per month. And for the guest, I should change it. It doesn't really matter anymore because your guest is about to leave anyway and the money was already authorized. But here is what I would do is I would put it on number five and it was meant to be only for the extras. Your guest was staying for two nights. I would put 100 pounds. 100 pounds. And I press OK. And I close. Say no to refresh folios. Close your billing options. Now what you want to do is perform a right click and you want to select new window. And here you see the bill is under the name of Reception Academy and there is a different method of payment on that window. Right. If you use a different method of payment, here will be the master card. So now what do I do? I need to select my food and my bed and breakfast rate and I will have to drag and drop to the second window. So your guest complains that he has never used a minibar. So what you wanted to do is you wanted to select both minibar items, perform a right click, select adjust transaction, select adjust by uh, selected postings, press OK. Now the reason code will be other reasons. Here we are. Uh, you select percentage, 100%, and then you write down minibar not used, charge removed. It's OK. The system wants you that the two charges have been adjusted. Click on OK. Select your plus and your minuses. As the total balance of those items is zero, you need to hide them on an empty window. So to do so, perform a right click, select transfer to window and select number three. If you've done it correctly, the balance of your window three should be zero pounds. The next discount was for the spa. The guest had 20% discount due to a special voucher.
So select your spa, perform a right click, adjust transaction, the first one again, click on OK, select special promotion, so promotional discount, press OK, percentage, here we change the total percentage to 20%, and in recent text you write down 20% discount on spa, summer promotion discount voucher. Once you are happy with those details, you click on OK. The system prompts you that the charge has been adjusted. Press OK. And then you can see that there is your £90 and your minus £80 for your discount. This brings the correction of this exercise to an end. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.